Welcome back everybody to another challenge of the AU CTF. Right now we're going to take a look at the Thanksgiving dinner pawn challenge. Um, the description is I just ate a huge dinner. I can barely speak anymore so please don't give me too much. Um, and we get a file and a uh, netcat connection and a ASLR is disabled for the challenge. Alright so let's uh, take a look at the file. Let's get a turkey file. Let's do a check sec on Turkey to see what kind of um, security we're running with. And let's also launch uh, IDA. Now, IDA is a tool I like to use for these kinds of challenges. Um, so let's open that up and take a look at the file. So we have this. Uh, let's first of all run this file. So NX enabled, PI enabled, no canary. Okay, so. Uh, we're probably not gonna have to. We're not gonna be able to uh, run shell code. We're not gonna be able to do anything like that. So let's run our file. It says, "Hi, welcome to my program. It's a little buggy. Hey, I heard you are searching for flags. Well, I've got one. Here you can have part of it. We get the first part, and then say says that's all I got. Then it asks us for input, and it exits. So now we can take a look at um, the actual file. So here we call a vulnerable function, so that's prob probably what's going to happen. So it prints out a bunch of stuff, and then here is the gets. Okay, so that's where our input comes into play. Then it's going to run through all these checks. If all of those are false, it's going to print a flag, and else it's going to exit. So we want to make sure that all of these are true, uh, are false. So to do that, let's start running and, and dynamically debugging the file in IDA. So I'm going to make a quick file um, to uh, input and see what's going to happen. So subscribe to Pink Draconian on YouTube it is going to be the input of my file. So we're going to put that into input.txt. And then in our debugger here, we're going to go to processor options and we're going to say take input.txt as the input. So now let's put a breakpoint on there and let's run this file. Okay, we're here. Let's take a look at what we have that's going to get checked. So here, um, something that ends with E is going to get checked to be equal to uh, lead. Um, so what's that going to be? Well, that's going to be this last E. So these four bytes have to be equal to that. So Let's actually make sure that we do that. So Python dash C, we're going to import pawn. We're going to print our string here without the E, because the E is going to be equal to pawn.p32 ox lead. If we print that, we see that, that gets printed out but we're going to put that into our input.txt file. So now if we run this again, we should be able to get past this check. Let's take a look at if that happens. Also, I use uh, pawn.32 here because earlier I saw this is a 32-bit binary. Okay, so we are here again and we see that's going to equal. So if we step through that, yes, uh, well, it's going to check if it's not equal which uh, if it's not equal, then it's going to uh, jump to exit, but we don't want that. So we want this to be equal and jump right here, which it's, go it's going to do. So we've beaten that first check. Now we have to beat all of these. So let's take a look at this one. So the end of YouTube needs to be equal to, uh, needs to be less than this. So let's do that. So what part was that? That was the... YouTube. So this part needs to be equal to pawn32. This, but it has it had to be less than this, so it has to do minus one. What's the check after that? Well, the n from pink draconian needs to needs to not be equal to 14. Well, it's an n, so it's not going to be equal to that. So that check's also passed. Then we need to take a look at this one. Uh, so the 
on from on YouTube needs to be equal to yes this one needs to be equal to this so let's fix that as well so um, these four get removed and we're gonna add pawn p32 that needs to be equal to that and then the last check is that the R from pink draconian has to be equal to 2a so we can put that in as well so pink draconian so we have to remove four get a plus in there and that had to be equal to ox 2a so let's run that okay we have an issue here object is not callable oh that's because i forgot to put the p32 here so now we run that fine if you take a look at our input our input is now this and let's see if that is going to run fine and um well get the job done so once we're done with moving all these segments we get put over here step through it first check was already complete second check also complete third one as well this one too and we jump to the print flag function if we run that it's going to print us too bad you can only run this exploit on the server so let's take it to the server copy that run that and instead of putting that into input.txt we're going to send that to the server and we get printed the flag so that was this challenge um, it was not really pawn more like kind of uh, reverse in a way but it was an interesting one um, for sure and definitely a good one for beginners to to get into uh, pawn or reversing so i hope you enjoyed this this video that was it for this one i'll see you back in another one